The Oni of Ife Obadeye Ogunsi II is concerned about laying the foundation for retrieving all Yoruba artifacts and antiquities that were taken away by the Europeans. Oba Ogunsi, who was on site exhibition and the opening of the ancient or local heritage in Ilefe Ocean State, mentioned that the location where the prominent Oreo local bronze head was discovered and excavated in 1910 and taken to the British Museum remains till date. On the call for the repatriation of artifacts and antiquities of Yoruba origin, the ONI admonished that such call must be genuine and be backed by the ability to secure the historical items. We are working on things we have within our confines, locally first for them to know the traceability of our technology, of our science started in the old world. We are way above the science that they are teaching now. It's very evident. But for all our artifacts and antiquities to come back, we need to create a very good base. It's another thing to celebrate returning it back. It's another thing to plug it appropriately for the common use of all of us. Among all the materials that we as human beings we have created in our lifetime, you know, stone tools, iron tools, wood, everything. Glass is the youngest, about 4,000 years old, but it's the most sophisticated that you don't really see the technology of glass in so many places around the world. But what we have seen here at this site where we are all standing is that the people of ancient Ife were also making their own glass you know, sourcing the raw material from within this vicinity. We are not telling the whole world that in Africa, in the Leife, these beads were made. The raw materials were made from it, were sourced from Ife, made from Ife. So we made it. We, our ancestors, they made it. And we can prove to the whole world that our ancestors, they are chemists. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.